if you write a song. Just romanticizing my life right now, honestly. Just makes me feel so alive. Glutes are so a girl. When I was born, patient, it wasn't on the list. I just farted. Okay, I feel awkward now. Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I slept in this really cute Spider-Man t-shirt. I'm feeling spidery. <laughs> Uh, I literally just woke up. It is 8 something. It is 8.09 on the dot. I've been trying to wake up. Mm, I don't know. I've just been waking up at 8 o'clock every single morning. Because I've had to close. Well, it's only Wednesday. It's Wednesday. And, um, I closed last night and I'm closing tonight. <laughs> Sorry. My brain is just not functioning fast this morning. But, yeah. Oh my god. I need to get like my shit together. Bed's gonna be made in three, two. Wait. <coughs> Bed's gonna be made in three, two, one. Beautiful. Good enough. Morning, bird. Hi, birdie girly. Hi, sissy. Andre. Ew, why are you wiping your ass on my carpet? I caught you dead in the act. Yeah, he's embarrassed. <laughs> I've contemplated my workout for literally 30 minutes now. Just kidding. I'm so dramatic. But I've been contemplating what I want to do for my workout. I woke up sore as hell. Like, my legs, we done good yesterday at the gym. Oh, my gosh. I either want to go to the gym and work out because it's definitely an upper body day today. Like, I cannot include my legs into any kind of workout. Like, the glutes are so a girl. Standing here, I can, like, you know how you, like, can flex your glutes? Oh, girl. My glutes are pumping. I'm not even gonna lie. This vlog was supposed to be a full week of workouts. And I am just really freaking embarrassed to record at the gym nowadays. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I go to Planet Fitness. And I don't think you can record there. I don't know. I decided... That we are going to work outside today. This lime green color is making me look so freaking tan. Yes, 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 yes. I can't tell if this is like my self tan color, me tanning the other day. I mean, it's definitely like a mixture of both, but either way, I just, I just farted. That just came out of me. Welcome to my morning routine, bitch. This is like a very realistic. You know what? There we go. This is going to be a realistic morning in my life. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be a full-blown vlog of a few days or just a morning. But welcome. Anyways. Okay. Sorry. I just farted. But I'm feeling really good. I don't think I've ever, like it's been a while since I felt confident in my skin. Maybe it's the tan, I don't know. But I've also been really consistent with just working out. And I will say I'm not on like a strict schedule, but I do get to the gym at least four days a week. Ugh. Anyways, okay. We're gonna work out outside. Cody's blowing up my phone. What you want? Before we go outside though, I want to apply some sunscreen to the face because my face is what attracts the sun fastest, I swear. I don't know what it is. And I want to try this one out. I recently found it in my summer bag the other day. I must have got it last year. This is the Clinique Pep Start, so we're going to try it out. I love trying out sunscreens when I don't have to wear makeup because sometimes they pill. They pill really bad. So let's see what this one's up to. I think I remember liking this. Oh, it definitely has a white cast. 
blends out nicely. Okay, yeah, I think I remember liking this. I just don't think I could wear makeup on top of it, which is fine. Yeah, this one's actually really nice. Okay, Miss Clinique Pepstar Daily UV Protector Broad Spectrum 50, SPF 50. Feeling pretty good. I like it. Okay, cool. I have to show you guys my new little morning greens cocktail, okay? Bloom Nutrition sent this to me the other day, and I forgot to show you guys in my last vlog. Well, actually, I only tested it out towards the end of the vlog, but I forgot to include it into the vlog because I suck. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys my morning cocktail because it's so freaking good. Like, it's actually good. It doesn't taste like shit. Just wait. So we got the greens. We need a little cup of water. I like using this one. It says 21 and legal. It's in a wine glass, so it literally feels like a little cocktail in the morning. It's like the best way to just start your day. I don't know. I don't make the rules. I just follow them. You add some water. My fridge is so freaking slow. It takes like 10 years just to get like six ounces of water. But nonetheless, we're trying to gain some patience which I don't really have. I don't have any patience. Like when I was born, patience wasn't on the list. Just, ah, okay. Anyways, you get the water, you get the greens. You only need one scoopy scoop, okay? One scoopy scoop. Okay. <gasps> Tell me I'm out of lemon. Oh no, guys. I think we only have limes. Hold up. Let me make sure I'm correct on this one. Oh my god. I only have limes. I don't know if this is going to be the best. Hold on. Don't fear. JC. Is here, okay? All right, well, I don't have lime. I mean, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I don't have lemons. This is where the lemon would come into play, but we only have limes, so we're gonna make that work. And yes, I'm cutting that on a paper towel because I don't wanna make any dishes dirty. Look what I got. Well, my mom got and I think I almost cried. A lemon fucking squeezer. Well, in this instance, a lime squeezer. I'm gonna sound stupid, <laughs> but this is seriously the best invention ever. I never understood how great a lemon squeezer was because I never had one and it changed my life, needless to say. So if you don't know how to use one because it took me a little bit, here's a little tutorial. See those little holes? You put the lemon, lime, whatever, upside down i know i'm fucking stupid i was doing this the wrong way for a few minutes but and then you just squeeze it in again this is supposed to be a lime so if this tastes like ass well that's that's my own fault because i usually do this with a freaking lemon this might taste like ass i'm not sure but we'll find out together and look at that oh I should have known that was gonna happen. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Uh, 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 I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. Birdie girl, birdie girl. Wait, you wanna go potty? Oh, hi, Sissy. Hi, Sissy. Good morning, hugs. Good morning, hugs. Good morning, hugs. Oh, hi. 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 Hi! How did you sleep last night? Good? Now you got me all filled with hair. Anyways, so you squeeze the lemon in there. That's not even the best part. And that feels like the best part, you know? But I finally got, I don't even know what this is called, a spinner, a frother, a mixer, an electric mixer. There we go. Bloom Nutrition sent this to me. We have the little B logo. So freaking grateful. 
and um you're supposed to start it first and then go really slow because this can become a mess really quick that's why i try not putting too much water in it but oh my god guys literally life changing life freaking changing I love this little mixer thing. I'll use it for like my pre-workout and stuff. Bomb. Bomb.com. Just romanticizing my life right now, honestly. Cheers. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Why do I have to fucking sing everything in life? Anyways, okay. Ready? Let's do this. Still amazing. It's the greens. It's the greens for me. It literally tastes so fucking good. Like, you guys can see every single vlog when I make my greens. I have like a face because the greens that I was using before taste like shit. So freaking bomb. My little green juice cocktail beats everything in this world. Maybe it's because of the greens. I don't know. I've been feeling really confident lately. Maybe it's the greens. Maybe the greens are making me skinny. Just kidding. A little disclaimer. Greens are just a supplement to, suppl to supplement other things in your life. You cannot count on greens to become a skinny legend. Greens only help a little bit in life, honestly. They're not going to get rid of every single bloating, you know? Just a little disclaimer, you can't count on greens to completely change your life. There's other factors that you have to include in order to reach your goals. But greens are a good supplement to, you know, put into your daily routine just to create healthier habits. Period. feels so so good there's literally nothing better than working out outside and especially when you do like a pilates or a yoga flow like oh not only are you working out your body but i feel like it's a workout for your mind as well just to like literally release everything <sighs> it feels so fucking good like when i have time to work out before i go to work Oh, I never take it for granted. I mean, sometimes, like I did in my last vlog. Sometimes I do. 
but I never want to take it for granted because I'm just so grateful that I even have the ability to move sometimes. Like whenever you're feeling very unmotivated, take a step back and just think about how fortunate you are honestly to be able to just move. Like to have the ability to work out is a damn privilege and sometimes we forget that. Be grateful for what you have and what you can do with your beautiful freaking body. And if that doesn't motivate you to fucking work. Anyways, I was feeling so good. I took a little photo shoot. Oh my God. I'm trying to really capture the moment and not necessarily be like picture perfect, but literally capture like, this picture is just so cute. Like I was literally living the moment high off life you know i recorded a little exercise that was my favorite today i did so many of these just to get the perfect freaking video but it felt so good i was not bothered at all but i'm just really trying to capture the moment and yeah i don't know i feel like i want my instagram to be i want my instagram to reflect who i am currently and i feel like in the past i've always been like I want to, I feel like in the past I've wanted my Instagram to just be like perfection, insta baddie, blah, blah, blah. But now I want people to come to my page and be like, oh, wow, she does so many different things. She works out. She's a fashion girly. She's into makeup, skincare, whatever it is. Like I want my Instagram to just inspire others to live their raw and authentic self and occasionally dress the fuck up and glam out. You know what I mean? But yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to take random pictures and I did. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'm a lot more active on there on the daily. And yeah, these pictures are so cute. I can't wait to post them. Playing from JC's iPhone. I've been trying to do it right. I've been living a lonely life. I've been sleeping here instead. Shower was took and now we are going to lather our bodies in some freaking body butter. So I know this is kind of old, okay? It went viral on TikTok, this brand. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Sol de Janeiro? Sol de Janeiro? Did I pronounce that right? Sol de Janeiro? Sol de Janeiro. I'm just gonna apply my Sol de Janeiro. Sol de Janeiro. Sol de Janeiro. Okay, now I don't. <laughs> Fuck. But anyways, this brand, we all know it, we've heard about it. This is infused with renewing fruit AHAs plus vitamin C. It smells delicious. Like, I'm not kidding. It smells so fucking good. I'm actually obsessed. I got the matching um, body spray too. We went big, okay? We got the big size and it just feels so freaking good on my body, okay? And at first... When I opened this up, I was like, oh, that's not going to last me. Like, even though this is the bigger size, I was like, that's not going to last me. Because sometimes with body creams, like, I apply way too much, I think. And then I just run through it way too quick. This is such a good formula. Like, this little bit will cover up my whole entire... Oh, hold up. Not my towel coming undone. It will literally cover up my whole entire arm. And oh my god, guys. Like... It is buttery soft. It is so silky and I am really loving how this just makes my skin feel, smell. Like it is so fucking delicious. I don't even know what scent this is. I'm not exactly sure how to read this. I don't know, but it smells divine. We're getting ready for the day, doing some skincare. Well, not really getting ready for the day. I mean, yes, but I'm going to work. I'm so glad I worked out today at my house because usually if I go to the gym before I go to work, I have to do my skincare and stuff at the gym and it's just not peaceful. I feel like everyone's staring at me like, look at this bitch bringing her whole skincare kit 
But I take my skincare seriously, especially in the morning. Oh, there's nothing better. Like, you know it's going to be a good day when you just take time to yourself, to your skincare. Um, I just used the Glow Recipe Toner. Look, I'm almost done. I literally got this. I got this at Christmas. I got this for Christmas. And I'm still, we're holding on. This is so damn worth it. Like, you get so much product. And then I used the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid. And I'm going to... Hold up. I added a new step into my routine in the morning, which is vitamin C. I've just, I don't know, I feel like vitamin C is the one thing I'm lacking because I do have a lot of dark spots on my face from like just breakouts. Like right around here on my chin, I have a lot of dark spots and some on my cheeks. I'm trying to add in some vitamin C, but I will say sometimes vitamin C doesn't mix well with like sunscreen, so it gets a little bit hard. But Glow Skin Beauty sent me their um, C Shield Anti-Pollution Drops. It has 15% vitamin C. And I feel like if I mix this in with my moisturizer, it can easily absorb. And it's not like a full layer of just vitamin C. If that makes any sense. And wow, this is hydrating. Putting that on my neck. Oh my god, I love rubbing products into my skin. Just makes me feel so alive. Okay, so I'm thinking to like even out my skin tone. I'm gonna go in with the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. This has SPF 40 in it. I am going to be inside like literally all day. Like when I'm at work, I work in a mall. So I don't see any sunlight. But still, just walking to my car and stuff like that. Driving. Listen, you always want to be protected, no matter what. So I'm just going to take a little bit, get my sponge, and then tap this into the skin. It literally just looks like your skin, but better. That's pretty much what I'm going for nowadays. I feel like everyone is, but this really does just literally look like a second layer of skin. You can barely tell that I have anything on my face. It just really evens out my skin tone, and it has SPF in there, so... It's a win-win. This is seriously one of my favorite products for the summer. It's definitely going to be a staple for me when I go on vacation. Someday you bring me back to you. Now baby, oh honey. It's because I'm filming, I'm getting a little extra. Every single time I start filming, doing my makeup, I always am like, oh, let me add on more. So I'm going to go in with the Flawless Filter. This is in the shade 5.5. It's pretty dark, so I'm going to use this to basically just like darken up my perimeters. Not necessarily like contouring or anything, just adding in some color to the face. And it leaves this beautiful glowy finish, obviously. The Flawless Filter, seriously, one of the products that blew up over TikTok, but I definitely think it's worth it. It really has so many different purposes for the face, and it just makes the skin look beautiful. Like, it just added a little bit of color, nothing crazy, and I love taking, like, a darker shade just to warm up the perimeters of my face, and the Flawless Filter is, like, the best for that. This is in the shade 5.5, so as you can tell, it's really dark, but... I freaking love it, especially for like looks like this where I want to go super natural, a little tinted serum, a darker, um, a darker thing, a ding. What? I cannot speak today. And then I'll just take a loose setting powder. This is the hourglass one. I will just honestly take like a big fluffy brush, set everywhere, not precisely or anywhere specific, just literally tapping this all over my skin. Just so I don't look like too dewy. I want to look extremely natural, like a satin finish. And this is perfect. All right, and now I'm just going to go in with some brow gel. Just going to brush the brows out first. Literally, I don't know what happened, but I feel like we all jumped on this train where we realized less is more when it comes to makeup. And I love it. Like, I feel like the less time I put towards, you know, like getting ready the more I enjoy what I look like, if that makes any sense. Like when I spend so much time on my makeup, I feel like I put so much 
I feel like I have so many expectations on what it should look like and then it never looks, you know, perfect. And I'm like, well, I just spent all this time doing my makeup. Why don't I look like a freaking model? And it's like, no, less is more. You're beautiful just the way you are. You don't need to add so many different products unless you want to. I like embracing my natural features. Like I used to hate my eyebrows and now I'm like, I love, like the messier, the better. I, I really don't care. I'm obsessed with these hair bands. They're like the summer move, I'm telling you. So we're just gonna do a little headband moment. Cause like, if it looks greasy from the back, whatever. Cute, right? Oh my God, so simple, so easy. Just brush your hair back, throw on a little headband, and you're good to go, period. Oh wait, I forgot. Even if I don't wear mascara, I love a good lash curl because, I don't know, it makes me feel like, I don't know, I just swear, I swear I look different when my lashes are curled. Probably just a me thing, but see like when i curl my lashes i just look a little bit more awake you can't tell me i don't look more awake cute all right great see that was easy easy breezy beautiful cover girl i almost forgot i almost forgot my spray we can't be doing that on you this is the best scent ever best scent ever i don't even know oh okay it says black amber plum and vanilla woods oh my god it's not too like sweet it's not too Oh, I'm really bad at explaining scents, but it just mm, it smells like summer. Okay, it smells like summer. And it's a hair perfume. We love it. Hi, I'm just picking up an order for JC. JC? Yes. All right, we have that you can afford. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Sandwich. Oh <laughs> no, that's all right. Um, we'll put that in for you to be right. Okay, now. thank I'm you sorry. so much. No, you're totally fine. I'm just gonna put my window up. <laughs> that's so awkward. I don't know if you heard her, but she literally dropped my sandwich as she was passing it to me. <laughs> this is why I love recording my day because she literally was holding the bag upside down. I feel so bad. She looks like she's new, but that's okay. They don't know that I'm talking to my camera, but okay, I feel awkward now. I feel so bad. I got so awkward because they definitely see me talking to my camera and they thought, they probably thought that I was like talking shit, but I, I what? Well, maybe that's why she dropped it because these bags are completely shut. That was funny. She was like, I'm so, 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 so sorry. I was like, you're totally fine, it happens. I know what it's like dealing with customers and like you never know how someone's going to react, but it's the little things like that that just remind us all, we're not perfect, like who cares? I should have got a grande, but I like to go bigger or go home. This is Fenty Iced Peach Green, wait, let me go on the app, I don't know what the this is the Iced Peach Green Tea Lemonade, and it looks so, like, satisfying. I hope it's, like, on the sweeter side. It should be because it has lemonade, right? Never tried it, but I have heard their teas are, like, delicious and so good, and I like trying new things. I don't like sticking to, like, the same thing, and I didn't need a matcha because I already had caffeine this morning, like, in my pre-workout. So here we are. Let's try this peach green tea. Let's do it. There is so many freaking parking spots and somebody had to park right next to me. How rude. But this is pretty good. It's very light. It's refreshing. It's not too sweet. It's not too sour at all. It's really good, actually. I don't know, guys. I think this might be my new drink. I gotta put Cody onto this. Venti green tea, venti iced green tea lemonade. Try it out, let me know. Let me know what you think. It's actually pretty fire, pretty fire. 